I don't know what that looks like to you, but it looks to me like a boatyard with shade. Peace and blessings, everybody. It is Saturday, I don't know, <laughs> June the 11th, 12th, not really sure, but we got it done. So last week, we put the tarp, these two tarps up in the front. And of course, as soon as I did it, we had a very strong rain. And the tarps did not fail. Repeat, they did not fail. But what happened is, see that span? That's four feet there. It was dipping there. And it held water there. And it held water towards the edges on both of them. So what I did was, <laughs> got to thinking again and said, well, guess I need to run something in the middle that sits up high to give even that top of that roof or mast because I can't build a roof a little pitch so now we've got three and a half inch pitch from there to there so I don't think we'll see any more standing water and what also did let me show you this and this works pretty good we've added bungee cord so the bungee cord there really pulls that taut so we don't get any standing water up there. And she looks pretty good, pretty good. So we've reinforced the lines everywhere with bungees. Zoom in so you can see that. And bungees, pulling it taut. And we've even got lateral bungees See, keeping the tension nice and good. So I finally uncovered my keelson again in preparation to be hoisted. It's gonna be lifted nine foot six inches in the air. And one of the subscribers asked me last week if this platform was strong enough to hold the actual frame boat. And it is, but what I'm gonna do is once I get the Kilson hoisted it's going to be supported of course and then I'm going to put right under it these posts cut holes in the deck sort of like these are I don't know if you can see but these posts go down to the ground so they're not actually bearing on the platform they're bearing on the ground so I'll probably put two or three under the Kilson like one I'm going to use this one because this is already bearing and probably another one right there to bear the weight once it's hoisted they go right down to the ground so I am very happy to be moving on to the next phase um, huh, again we're sailors so we know what the wind and weather is capable of so this is my best attempt to just try to stay out of the shade and so now since we have five tarps instead of one huge tarp, if any one tarp fails, it's a simple $40 replacement versus a $200 replacement from the other tarp. So it's about four, what time is it? Four o'clock, five o'clock? We started at 10 this morning. Well, a little bit earlier, I had to go to Home Depot and Harbor Freight to get uh, additional tarps and bungees. And these little eyelet things but got a good day in and um, might do some stuff tomorrow but it'll be in the tent uh, I have to start tracing out the plywood gussets for the frames and so now that I finally gotten this solved <laughs> and done without building a roof uh, we're using mast um, I feel better and also um, I had a comment from one of my subscribers saying that I'm not building a boat, so he's not interested anymore, but, oh, uh, you're lost. Oh, got a good puff there. And, um, unfortunately, I think, uh, some people want to see a rushed process. Hey, all I can say is tune in in three years if you want to see a finished product. But if you want to follow along on the journey, stay tuned. And I appreciate all the support and all the well wishes. So. It's been blowing pretty good today too. 
had about a constant 10, 15 with stronger gust. And it feels so good up here. And um, that's it. So I gotta drop my help off and uh, join my family. All right, until the next time, when we'll be building a boat on Saturday, peace and blessings.